Hi everyone, now let's start about time zone aware daytime objects in Python. In this video, we will learn how to understand time zone aware daytime objects conceptually. We will learn zone info and PYTZ libraries that how to get the world time zone information from them. We will learn how to get the current time of any specific country or any specific time zone and we will learn how to convert one time zone time to another time zone specific time zone time so let's say right now there is a 12 o'clock in new york and i want to know what's the time in new delhi so we will learn how to get this that time done and we will learn how to convert knife daytime objects into time zone specific daytime objects so let's get started about this module. So guys, if you look at in this code, I have created two daytime objects. One is the naive or local daytime objects and the one is the time zone aware daytime object. So whenever we create a time zone aware daytime objects, we provide in this TG info argument a time zone information. And if you look at in the output, of this time zone aware daytime objects, we got a this part, and this is a time difference from the standard UTC time. So that's what a daytime zone aware objects are. They contains a time difference information from the UTC time. So let, let's create one of them. So let's say I want to create a New York time zone information. So first thing. I need to know how much a New York is having a time difference from the UTC time. As a, for now, I know this point of time New York is 4 hours behind from the UTC time. So I'll create a time, time zone object. So let's create a New York time zone object. So let's create this New York time zone object and here I'll use this time zone class. And this time zone class contains time delta information. And as I know, New York is 4 hours behind from the UTC time and then provide a name string which will represent this particular time zone. Let's provide and Y. And now provide this information in the to the daytime object. So let's use this one and instead of local, let us this no a aware as and provide in this tz info argument provide the new york time zone and see the output so print dt object aware let me run the whole code yeah so we got the information that this particular object daytime object is four hours behind from the utc time so that's how we create a time zone aware daytime objects but a problem comes with this and problem is that in the world we have about yeah 248 countries and some countries is having multiple time zones like united states is having 29 time zones and there are even historical time changes and daylight saving times also involved with this so we always use to get the time delta information these libraries zone info date util and pytz but if you want to provide a time zone information in this tz info argument always use either zone info or date util library never use pytz else it might leads you to some bugs so remember this particular part so let's see how to get that part done So now I want to provide this. So let me copy this same object. Let me paste. Yeah. Let me provide this as a NY object. And this time I want to provide from the zone info library this time zone information. So let's import first zone info library and then let's import. 
the from zone info library import zone info class as i want to provide the new york times zone information so first i need to get the new york time string from the zone info library so for notebook so for them how to get a time string so like this for i in this zone info library we have available time zone iterator then let's just print this i and we'll get the output and in this output you can search the new york so over here you will get this output and search the new york so you control f or command f you'll get this done and just copy and paste this particular time zone string now use this particular time zone string over here to create a new york time zone object so new york let me get with just this and y and then provide yeah use this zone info class and provide that string america new york which we copied from the data viewer and then in this tz info provide the new york time information and let's copy and paste it so dd object and this time i will provide the new york time zone information and then the if you look at i got the same output you see what has happened but this point of time i no need to get this information that that how much is the time difference from the utc time so zone info library provided me that part that information because this might might change over a period of time so let's say if i'll change this month to three a different date then this time become minus five hours because there are daylight saving times are involved in different time zones so that's the reason you always use this library you should never use a customized method so i just reveal you this part so that you have a better conceptual understanding that how does a daytime object does these things under the hood and now we know how to do things practically and we have seen that how to use a data viewer function in the jupyter vs code notebook also just go to variables and any time zone let's say i want to see the time zone of paris i get the paris time zone string because we need to get these strings done we need to provide these strings in the tz info sorry to create a zone info argument and then provide that information in the tz info argument but let's say i want to know what's the current time so to get the current time we have let's print a date time date time dot now and in now we need to provide this tz argument and in this tz argument again we will provide a zone info object so let's directly create a zone info object over here itself let's say this time i want to provide a paris information that what is the current time in the paris so just go to the data viewer sorry yeah where we were yeah just go to this data viewer and again over here type paris euro paris so this is the paris string and just provide over here and run the code so if you look at over here we got the current time in paris with the time zone offset information but now i want to convert this paris time i want to know what is the current time in the New York. So I could know, but I want to. Let's say this is a Paris time information, and I want to convert this Paris time information into a New York time. So what do I need to do? So I just need to use a as time zone method from the date time module. So let's use date time dot as time zone and provide the New York time information. So what is the new york is time information so use this zone info object 
and zone info object again use that america then new york so where's the mistake let's check that part yeah instead of date time i need to provide this paris over here let's run it let's run it again yeah we get this part done so print so if you look at and uh, let's print the paris time also so this is the time in the paris and the same time this was a time in the new york and how to get the different time of any specific time in a different time zones and now we have learned how to get the current time also so now i wanna convert this object into a new york time zone aware object so for that I'll use a PYTZ library. So, as PYTZ library is not a part of the standard Python library, so please install from the pip with a pip install PYTZ command. I have already installed it, so I'm not gonna do that part. So, I'm just directly importing PYTZ library. And in this PYTZ library, uh, I need to create with this PYTZ library a New York time zone object so how, it, how do you do that so first look at this and then pytz is having a time zone method and then provide the same new york string which we copied from the data viewer so as i already know what that thing because that this was a string which we provided in this and this string we copied from where from a data viewer function parenthesis will be and now and then i have created a new york time zone object now what i need to do i need to pass a or i need to call a localized method with this new york time zone object and in this localized method i need to pass that local date time object as an argument and then i have just created my New York time zone aware date time object or I have converted a local date time object into a New York time zone aware date time object and it contains a minus 4 hour time difference from the UTC time so guys what happened uh, whenever we find these time strings sometimes it's pretty easy to find it out but sometimes they are not defined in a pretty good manner so let's see what happens so let's go into this data viewer again and let's say when i was finding in this data viewer new york and paris time zone strings it was pretty easy to find but now let's say i want to find a time string for new delhi so let's say new delhi no it's not available it's not available at all so let's say find the time strings in india so in india there's no time zone in, i could find out because india time zone is defined in this Asia Kolkata this is the time zone for India and it is really confusing to find it out so how to solve this problem so for that use pytz library again import pytz and in pytz library let's use for i in pytz use country names not country time zone and this is a property so use pytz then country name and you Print it out pytz dot country names again and and use this i as the key and then again use pytz dot country time zones and then use get method and then use i and run this so now if you look at what do we have so let's go to test editor now we have country wise time zones let's say i'm gonna search the time zone for india so go india and then go over here so i got this india time zone india time zone is asia kolkata so india time zone string is asia kolkata same way i could find for any country let's say i'm gonna find the time zone for let's say norway 
yeah i could get it done so norway time zone is europe or uh, oslo so that makes it pretty easy so let's say i know five united states so what happened so united states might be us yeah i got it done so united states is this one yeah so united states having many time zones so i need to fix figure out in this case which time zones i need to choose so this is how we could get the different time zone strings without any conflicts so for that use pytz library if you are getting a conflict to get a specific time zone string so i hope by now you have really learned pretty good stuff how to deal with different time zone specific date times so thanks guys for watching this video and please provide a positive feedback in the comment section and let me know in the comments if you want me to create a new video on any specific topic if you have learned something new please like the channel video and subscribe this channel as there will be some new video releases every week and this will be a huge support for me